Good morning, Facebook. Um, this is as close as I'm going to get to Facebook Live because uh, the phone that I had, I gave it away because I didn't have it turned on. I was just using it for Wi-Fi. But uh, next Friday, I'm getting another phone, and hopefully that phone will have the Facebook Live capability. Uh, the phone that I'm using plus my own phone with my regular number. Uh, unfortunately, Facebook is on beta, B-E-T-A. Why does that sound like something from back in the 80s? You know, the beta, uh, uh, D, uh, not DVD, but the beta uh, uh, videotapes. They were so short and small. I didn't have one of them. I had the regular VHS. <laughs> Forget a beta. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, I was supposed to say this, I believe, Sunday. God revealed it to me, either Saturday or Sunday. Well, I, well actually, it had to be Sunday um, when God revealed this uh, to give for me to give to you guys. <laughs> because enlightened to what happened over the weekend. I'm not on here to place blame or point fingers at anybody. I'm not here to do that. But what I'm here to give you is what God has given to me. And this is for anybody that agrees with what, the, what they've done and anybody who don't agree. This is for everybody. Mainly, I'm, I'm mainly I, I believe I'm in this message, I'm, I'm mainly targeting all of you who are doing the wrong that you're doing. Stop what you're doing and take a look around you. And then ask yourself, why are you still here in the position that you're in? I feel the anointing coming on. My, my body is just tingling because I know I'm about to go somewhere with this um, excuse me I'm sorry this is my other phone notification um, I do apologize for that y'all seriously I apologize I'm going to turn this phone off so I don't get any more notification uh, interruptions um But honestly, <clears throat> you are wondering, you know, why I pray and I pray and I pray every day about wanting this and that or wanting to go here and there. I want to do this and that, but it seems like God is not answering me. No, trust me, God is answering you. He's answering you. The reason why you are still stuck in the same position that you're in is because you're still doing the same things that are hindering you. All of you who uh, went out and set fires, I don't know how many of you there were, but it had to have been more than one. Couldn't, that couldn't have been the work of one person. Um, to set that many fires in one night and then it's still going on you know eight eight or nine businesses now that have been destroyed since Saturday night I mean it's kind of funny I'm not funny but it's kind of stupid and crazy that you want to work and make money but you go to the places where you could potentially get a job and you tear that down. What did O'Reilly's have to do with any of this? What did Jet Beauty have to do with any of this? Maybe, maybe because, you know, Jet Beauty, Asians owning that. Maybe because uh, Jet Beauty um, owning that. Or, I mean, uh, Asians owning Jet Beauty. And, you know, we know plenty of Asians that do have an issue with black people. They talk crazy to us sometimes. Uh, 
as well as the Arab and Indian people that own all of our gas stations here. Um, they talk ignorant to us. But that's because we've allowed that for so many years. There haven't, from what I'm, from what I could see in the, in the media, there hasn't been anybody that that could put a cork in it, so to speak, and come come to some understanding with these Indians and Arabs that just as well as their minorities, so are we. So why would you, you know, throw salt at us? We didn't ask you to come over here and live in our country for seven years for free. You chose to do that. And then you chose to leave before your seventh year is up and send one of your brothers over here or sisters to continue on your legacy until it's time for you to come back for free again. I already know the deal because I've been told by that particular race at a store that was uh, in my mom's neighborhood. Uh where I grew up at on 32nd and uh, 32nd and uh, uh, Brown. The owner that actually got shot and killed. Yeah, I talked to both him and his brother, and they, they gave me the 411 on how they do that. But anyways, I'm getting off the subject here. Um, honestly, at, you, you, you're wondering why you, you haven't seen anything change in your life. Because you haven't changed for yourself. You haven't changed for God. Now, I can't speak for any of you who are not saved. All I know is that if you're not saved, but you do believe, but you're not saved, you've never given your life to God, trust me. There's a word for you. There is a blessing for you. All you have to do is accept and let, and let Christ into your heart. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. He is not someone to be afraid of. And, and this type of lifestyle is not something to be afraid of. It's different. Yeah, it can get scary at times. And the road is bumpy. But you have to go through the storm to get to your glory. Amen. So... You, the reason why you're not receiving what you want and what you've been asking for is because of what's going around in your life. Change what's going on in your life. I hope that this is the direction that God wanted me to go because, and I feel that the Holy Spirit has led me down this way. Maybe what was put into my heart on Saturday, this is what it was supposed to come out. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing God you know, and it's making me happy. And this is where he's leading me. Because I kind of felt a little differently on, on Sunday when it was revealed to me than I am right now. But I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with what I'm saying. Because I know it's truth. Because it's coming from, directly from God, not me. Everybody that knows Doug, knows Doug. is. I mean, he's smart. But he's not capable of coming up with stuff like this. No. But I am capable of hearing God when I'm in the spiritual realm. I just got through studying. So I um, just want you to understand that if you get your life in order, if you get yourself in check, you'll start to see the change in your life. You don't have to succumb to the people in your neighborhood, the people in, your, in the world around you. You don't have to succumb to them. Bible says to uh, keep your friends close and keep your en enemies closer, you know. So I'm just letting you know what the what is a possibility of what you could be doing. Change that. Change the people you hang with. You know, keep your enemies close, sir. <laughs> keep your enemies closer. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. You got to think about that. The Bible teaches us in those ways and how to do it and how to do it right. 
So I just really want everybody to understand that if you change, so will God in your life. God is the same no matter what. But God will change your life if you start changing today. God is the same today and forevermore. And he can change whatever is going on in your life as long as as long as you change. As long as you change for yourself. I mean, seriously. Seriously, think about that. Watch what God will do for you. For those of you who have given your life to God, whether it be last week, last year, or 20 years ago, 50 years ago, I don't care how old you are. Begin, start, be, start doing right. Begin to change the things in your life and watch what God will do. But you have to be patient because this might not be your season. This might not be your season. But you'll know when it's your season because you'll start to see the change. But trust me, there are plenty of seasons now, there's not just one season, you know, you, you don't get that one season where, oh, I got blessed with a million dollars and then it's over with. No, there's quite a few seasons because there's quite a few storms. If God brings multiple storms in your life to to be as a test for you and how and, and to show you not to sh well to show you things show you revelation in your storm to give you to set you up for your testimony see we don't just have one storm we have multiple storms so if there's multiple storms there's multiple blessings at the end of those storms there's multiple seasons come on now if there's multiple storms there's multiple seasons all right. Sorry that this wasn't uh, Facebook Live. There's a lot more to say about this. There's a lot more I can say about this, but I'm going to wrap it up for right now. Um, because I need God to fill me back up with more. Um, I've never been a preacher. Um, I know my calling. And it's time for me to stop playing and get it, you know, get it, get back in the step, get the gears rolling. So it's time for me to do what I got to do. So I'm going to go back and listen to what more God can add to this. This message is not over with. Just like the message that I gave you on Facebook Live the first time I was on, temptation, sin, repent, and forgiveness. That message there is not over with. There's a lot more that I can say about each one of those subjects. Temptation, sin, repent, forgiveness. There's a lot to say in that. So I only gave you all a little bit of taste. And this message here, wake up Milwaukee. This message is just to wake up to every one of you. I love y'all. Hopefully this is this what I've said will help will help somebody will encourage somebody. Uh, hopefully it will change somebody's life, and hopefully uh, it will not be too late for any of you who are not saved to get saved today. I I challenge those of you who are not saved and that are afraid to get saved because of whatever reason. YouTube or Google or Bing, whatever you want to do, the, the whinings, and the song is called Tomorrow. Listen to that song. Trust me, you don't want to wait until tomorrow because tomorrow very well might be too late. 